Uh, morning, uh, we're here in the woods to do some field testing with the Jetson and some of our new capabilities that we've developed, uh, namely uh, the tree propagation, hence uh, the big trees here in the Forest of Dean, and the co-op feature. The co-op feature is an upgrade to the ATAC plugin uh, that lets us track any call sign on ATAC from any radio system in real time. So it's live radio mapping. And in order to do that, uh, we're using a new computer. This is the Card Shark from Carnegie Robotics. And it's a Jetson Orin in an IP rated case, uh, which we've got in Matt's fanny pack. On the map here, uh, we've got the Tate DMR radios, uh, which have been added to ATAC by our plugin. And when we use the plugin, once we're, we're moving out on the ground, uh, we're going to map the coverage of these in real time. Okay. Test one, Matt's just departed on a track. He's gonna head north. He's got a Tate radio attached to him. Here's the new Soothsayer plugin, and we can now co-opt call signs that are on the map. So we've got a couple of call signs to play with, and that's what we're going to co-opt now. So using the new co-opt feature here, I'm going to select the guys that I want to join my Soothsayer team. So a four, one, three, and fanny pack, and we're assigning them all a template of a DMR with two watts and what we're going to do is start the co-opt process and now it's going to automatically model all of these. There'll be a latency with uh, Matt um, because it's about 20 seconds to go around all the radios. Depends on the radio network, but for this, um, that's fine. <laughs> Matt, you can crack on now. Okay, here we are, we've got uh, four radios out on the ground and they're moving so we have a static radio down here we've got a chap who's walking along the track up here and then we've got a bike heading north there that's matt and we're updating uh, this coverage every 10 seconds based on an interval and so what i'm going to do now is go mobile and as we move the positions are going to update and the map will update every 10 seconds So using the Jetson, it's doing the computation very quickly on the GPU. It's able to return the heat map uh, with no latency at all. So we could actually go faster than 10 seconds if we wanted to. There's no lower limit. We are able to do a calculation in one second if you dial down the resolution. At the moment, this is in low resolution mode. I will do a demo again in a higher resolution uh, just to show you. But the beauty of this is it's not just visualizing your mapping as it is now. Okay, we've lost comms with Matt. He's gone north here and he's fallen off the coverage. So that's our coverage and Matt's down here and he's out of comms. So Matt's on his way back and we expect Matt to reacquire in a second. So Matt's fallen off the network ahead of us and we can see he's gone down into a ditch and there's no coverage down there. So as I'm moving forward, my coverage is going to update and we'll see the coverage on the map eventually cover the ditch. And at that point, I'm going to stop and radio check Matt. There's no need to go all the way down this hill if we don't need to. There he is. There's number three. He's just ahead of us now, coming around the bend. So hopefully we're about to see Matt. Matt, this is Alex, radio check, over. Uh, 
Nah, Alex, good to meet you. Over. Okay. There we are. Some good VP and some good comms. Okay, this is test two. We were happy with the network test on test one. This is all about speed and the refresh rate. Uh, the card shark uh, has been getting hot, so we're just letting it breathe. And Matt is now going to uh, do a five second refresh. So the interval is five seconds, which is uh, much faster than uh, ATAC can do a KML uh, refresh. And he's now refreshing every five seconds and he's gonna go for a ride uh, down the hill and film that on a GoPro. In this section of the video, we can see the card shot rapidly placing layers onto the map as we're moving up to speeds of 30 miles per hour down the track. Keep up to date with all the latest tunnel features with CloudRF. Please subscribe to the channel.